straw rocket and we're going to collect data and create a bar graph. As you know, this past year, we have been participating in the Civil Air Patrol's ACE program. The Civil Air Patrol is part of the United States Air Force and they provided us with grade level curriculum as well as manipulatives to do our lessons. Throughout the school year, our staff has been teaching you these lessons and today's lesson comes from this ACE program. Sir Isaac Newton was a famous mathematician and scientist that lived in England in the 1600s. He is well known for his three laws of motion. These three laws can be applied to rocket science principles. The third law states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So can you guys say that with me? For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Good. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This third law can be applied to rocket propellant coming out of the engines in a rocket. So the rocket propellant or fuel comes out and down out of their engines, which then the propellant lifts the rocket up in the opposite direction towards the sky. The propellant coming out or down towards the ground is the action and the propellant lifting the rocket off of the launch pad in the opposite direction up towards the sky is the reaction. Let's watch a rocket launch and watch the propellant come out of the engines down towards the ground and lift the rocket in the opposite direction up into the sky. Suppression water system has been activated. Okay. We have a go from engine start. Three engines up and ready. Three. Two, one, zero, booster ignition. Now you see and all the propellant coming out. Blazing a trail to towards the ground and the rocket. Space station. Up towards the sky. So now you should be able to tell me how a rocket gets off the ground and up into the sky. That's right. Fuel or propellant comes out of the engines down towards the ground and that pushes the rocket in the opposite direction up into the sky. So this rocket is called STS, Space Transportation System, because rockets transport people and equipment up into space. It's also known as a space shuttle. Space shuttle ran between 1981 and 2011. There were six shuttles built with five that were space worthy and they flew on 135 missions. But in 2000, 2011, they retired the space shuttle and now we're using a new rocket that we hope will take us back to the moon in the next few years. The rocket we make today will not have flames or smoke coming out of it. I know, a little disappointing, but it will be powered in a different way and we will talk about that in a little bit. take your four different colors of construction paper or cardstock, tape it on the back, and then tape it up on your wall. If you were not able to find four different colors, you can also take a plain piece of paper, color it a different color, or outline it like I did, and just put the name of the color in the box, tape it on the back, and you can tape that up on your wall. Now that you have your board up, you want to tape a line on your floor because this will be the line you stand behind when you're launching your rocket. You do not need a dog in front of that line when launching your rocket. Now we're going to make our rocket. This is when you need the download from Mr. Cheon's online assignment page that can be found on the Silver Sands website. If you are not able to get this download, don't worry because I'll show you after I get done making this how you can make a straw rocket without this download. So now we're going to glue them together. I'm going to put them face down on my table. And I'm going to take my glue stick and I only want to glue 
on the outside of the rocket. I do not want to glue on the inside because I want to be able to put my straw in there. So just glue along the outside here, but not at the bottom. So not at the bottom here, and I'll do the other side. Probably don't need to. And then we're gonna stick them together like that. And I'm, we're gonna let them dry, okay? So that's what it looks like, and we're gonna let it dry. You can also use uh, school glue if you need to. So let's say you don't have um, our straw rocket template. So So to make a straw rocket without the template, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, some scotch tape, and a plain piece of paper. So I'm going to cut this piece of paper about two inches wide up to the top. This is the short way, not the long way. So I have that. And I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to wrap this paper piece of paper around the pencil and then tape it. So let's see. It's a little hard. You may need help with a friend or an adult and you're just going to roll it. I obviously need help from an adult. And then you're going to take a couple pieces of tape and tape one there. And I'm going to tape one there. And then the pencil should easily slide out. You're going to take the top end here in about a half or three quarters of an inch. You're just going to fold it over. And you're going to put a piece of tape on it. So that way your straw can only go in one way, okay? Now if you want to get fancy with your rocket, you can add a couple fins. So you got to cut a couple triangles and I always just go to the corner of my paper. There's one. And there's two, and you're going to tape those fins right there on the bottom of your rocket. You got a piece of tape. So I'll put that tape on there. And I'll have two fins on my rocket, and that fin was upside down, so let's get it correct. So I now have a straw rocket without using the template. The other sheet you'll need for Mr. Cheon's assignment page is this one, the rocket chart, so we can make our bar graph. If you're not able to print this off, it's okay. I made one, I just drew my 10 boxes and labeled them one through 10. And then I made my bar chart with 11 boxes going down and four across, because this is where I'm gonna put my colors. And then I, numbered it one through 10, and I'll show you what that's for in a little bit. So you can just make your own at home if you're not able to print it off. Some of you may have trouble blowing through a straw and launching your straw rocket. If this is the case, you can make yourself a paper airplane, and I put a paper clip on the front to kind of help it be stable when it's in flight, and you can use that towards your board. Before we launch, we're going to fill out the colors on the bottom of our rocket chart. And so I have a crayon for each of the colors on our chart, green, yellow, pink, and blue. And I'm just going to fill them in right there. So you might be using the rocket from our uh, template or the straw rocket we made using paper and a pencil or a paper airplane. I'm going to launch my rocket that I made with a template. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick your straw in here and don't put it all the way up to the top. You want to leave a little bit of space. Now, our rocket is not going to be powered by propellant like we saw in the video. We're going to use air to power it, but it's still going to use the same principle that Sir Isaac Newton had. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. When I blow in this rocket, which actually, it is full of air right now. You can't see it, but I promise you it's full of air. And when I blow in, 
my straw, I am going to put more air in this rocket. And it doesn't have anywhere to go except out the back of the rocket. Reminds us of the propellant in the rocket, doesn't it? So when that air goes out of the rocket this way, my rocket should fly in the opposite direction towards our target. Just like Sir Isaac Newton said, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So let's see. I'm gonna stand behind my line and I'm gonna launch my rocket. Let's see where it landed. As you can see, my rocket hit the blue square. I wanna pause a moment and take you over to Ms. Moore's daughter, Sydney. She is doing this activity, but just a little bit different, and I think you will enjoy it. Hi, Sydney. Why don't you show the seahorses what you're doing? All right, seahorses. So I've got my rocket and my chart, and now I'm going to blow the rocket at the chart. That landed close to red, so we're going to mark red on our charts. Hey, Sydney, for showing us how you can do this activity outside. So now I'm going to launch my rocket nine more times and fill in the boxes, and I'll show you what that looks like. So now I will come over to my rocket chart, get my blue crayon, and I will just color in this first box. So here are my results after I launched my rocket 10 times. So now we're gonna fill in the bar graph. So I'm gonna turn my sheet here, and let's start with yellow. Let's count the number of yellow boxes I have. One, two. I'm color in two boxes, one, two, Just like that. So let's go to pink. So I have one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna color in one, two, three, four. Right up to that four. Now I'll get my blue crayon. How many blue boxes? How many times did I hit the blue square? One, two. So one, two boxes. That's the same as my yellow. Okay, how about green? One, two. One, I should start at the bottom. One, and then the two. Okay. So there's my bar chart. So when you're done with your graph, now you can ask some additional questions. Which one had the most? Which ones had the least? You can also double check and count these boxes to make sure you got all 10 of your targets marked. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the activity. I hope you enjoyed making your straw rocket and launching it. I hope you liked filling out your bar chart. Remember, as always, we love you, we miss you. Stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, you guys. Bye, seahorses.